to a mat class. So I haven't done the mat in a little bit. So we're going to do a very balanced mat class. Um, should be about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more. So let's go ahead. And, you're going to need one weight, a three-pound weight. Okay. This is um, yeah, this is a weighted toning ball. So if you've got a weight, anything that's going to give you a little bit of resistance, but not a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and start on your stomachs. And just bring your hands right under your forehead. Situate that body. And just start breathing in the nose. Not the mouth. Again, breathe in the nose. And out the mouth. Start checking in with yourself. Shoulders away from your ears. Ribs are in. Pelvic floor is lifted. Nice. Neck is elongated. And you're breathing in the nose and out the mouth. All right. Let's go ahead and turn our heads to the right. Take your arms out to a T. I don't have the space here, the support, but pretend my arms are out to a T. We lie down. We lift the right leg. We're going to bend it and roll. I want you to roll onto your left shoulder and your right arm is reaching long. So you're getting a nice twist in that lower body. Your foot might touch the floor, it might not. Just enjoy that stretch and then bring yourself right back. And then turn your head to the left. Left leg lifts, bend it, and roll. Nice. Just hang here for a little bit and just breathe in the nose and out the mouth. And again, breathe in the nose. And then out the mouth. Good. And then bring yourself back. Let's do it one more time each side, okay? So first we lift it, we bend it, and then we roll. In class, I usually joke about you're getting a mammogram here too. Because you're really, you're opening up this right hip, but you're opening up that left shoulder also. And then bring it on back. Turn the other way. Left leg lifts. We bend it. And we roll. So you're twisting your lower body away from your upper body. Get the stretch of this right shoulder, left hip. And you can relax that foot. And then bring yourself right back. Okay? And let's slide your hands right, on, um, right by the cheeks on your face. Elbows are tight to you. And just give me a little lift. And then a lower. Good. Again, give me a little lift. And a lower. Just be gentle with yourself. We're slowly waking up that extension. And then we lower. And one more time. Give me a lift. Now lift up your hips. Don't move your knees or your hands. And just, it's like down dog on your knees, okay? Or in Pilates, we call this um, up stretch because the hips are up. Nice. And then bring yourself back. Now, you can slide your hands in closer. Take your back knee to your front knee. Lie down and take your arms straight out to the front here, okay? So holding right here. And now, we're just going to open this arm around. And then we bring it back. So now we're twisting the upper body away from the lower body, and then we come back. And let's just do three on each side. Open it up, and then we're going to come back. Okay? Push yourself right up. Go into a Z sit, and just give yourself a, a small side stretch here, mermaid here. Take that arm down, and that other arm's going to cut across. So you're more working on the angle. Okay? Nice. And then let's come back. Swing these legs to the other side. And we'll lie down. Take your arms and your leg in this nice little fetal position. Arms are reaching long in front of you. And they open around. Oh my goodness. And you can notice right away the difference on each shoulder. And we circle. And then we're going to come back. And one more time. I think we did. We do three. Mm. And then we're going to come back. Okay? And again, we push ourselves up. We go right to our Z sit. Right? And then we'll go towards the back leg first. And then come back. Sweep this arm on the parallel to the floor. And just a diagonal stretch right there. Good. And then bring yourself back. And let's go ahead and bring those feet back in line with you. Now grab your weight so it's close by. And we're not going to have to break later for it. Okay? Let's hold your weight as you're here. Use it as a counterbalance here. Drop your chin. And we slowly, we roll down, we roll down, we roll down. And the weight is helping you go nice and slowly all the way down. Okay? Set that weight down. And here we are. Now slide your feet in so you're a little bit more comfortable. And now from here, tuck and peel up in a bridge. And then peel down. So you're really articulating, peeling each bird right off. And then you're going to take it down. Now let's make that different. So instead of a... Um, a hip curl, it's a hip lift. 
arms are strong by your side, and we just lift, and then we just lower. And you just lift it, and then you just lower it. Okay, we just do two. Now let's cross one knee over the uh, opposite knee, and just let your legs sway side to side. And uh, again, if uh, you want to linger on a side, like maybe you want to hang out right there, because that right, right a side joint is off, feel free. Uh, you want to linger a little bit on each side. And then bring yourself back. Let's swap it out. And again, we go one way, feeling that stretch there. And then let's go away. And again, go over for that stretch right there. And then bring it right back over. Nice. And then bring it right back. Um, uncross those legs. Go ahead and hold on to your weight for a second. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Bring yourself all the way up. Dive your body forward. Good. And then roll yourself all the way down. And just like a nice little reset. Set that weight off to the side. Now let's send your legs long. Okay? Heels together, toes apart. Hold right here. And let's just lift a leg and lower. And just lift a leg and lower. And just feel how each leg is different. We lift and we lower. And I'm externally rotated. And again, we lift and we lower. A couple more. Lift and we lower. And last time, lift and then we lower. Turn your legs parallel. Grab your weight. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. And let's come all the way up. Dive over those legs. And then just sit up tall. Now let's set your weight off to the side. Again, close by so we don't have to break later and find it. But bend your legs. Arms are reaching. And for our hundreds, I want to take us halfway back right here. Hold here, and we're going to do, like, say, let's do 40 here, and inhale twice, exhale twice. So we'll hold here, we go, inhale, inhale, shh, shh, 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 hold it, and then just float your body down. All right, very nice. Let your arms go long by your side. Take a leg up and take a leg up. Now I want your heels to touch. Hold here and just open your knees and close them. So we butterfly these knees, okay? And we open them and feel yourself working through resistance. And we close them. Again, we open and we close. We open and we close. Last time, open and then we close. Now, let's put that with our hundreds. Head, neck, and shoulders lift. Nice. Now let's go three and seven and use all the all the counts. So we go inhale two, three, shh. Inhale two, three, shh. Inhale two, three, shh. Inhale two, three, shh. Hold it and rest. Now turn out. I think we're about seventy now. Um, forty maybe 80. So from here, knees are uh, just as wide as you, head, neck, and shoulders lift. And let's just finish that. Let's do 30 more. It's okay if we did a little bit more. So send your legs long, wrapping your thighs around, and we're going to go inhale two, three, shh. Inhale two, three, shh. Inhale two, three, shh. Hold it. Take a lay down. A leg down and let's rest. Okay, done with those hundreds. Arms come to the ceiling. I feel those ribs drop. Head, neck, and shoulders lift, and up you go. Okay, grab your weight on the way up and then roll yourself down. Okay, again, arms go overhead, arms come to the ceiling, and we roll it up. Now, this time, let's come halfway down, hold here, and just give me some circles and some circles, right? That's it, and we circle. Nice. And then stop. And let's go the other way. Uh, when that weight comes to you, you definitely feel those abs more. And there's your last one. Hold it. And then just roll yourself all the way down. Very nice. Arms go overhead. I assume very nice. <laughs> Arms to the ceiling. And up you go. And we'll dive all the way over. Nice. Now let's get some um, rotational work in here, right? And we're seated. Okay, so let the left arm hold the weight. Take your body half and back, and we're gonna hang out like right here. Okay, hang out right here. Right arm is gonna sweep, you look at it, and you come back to center. 
And again, you sweep, you look, and you come back to center. Again, sweep and look, bring it on home, and last time, sweep and look, and bring it on home. Stay here to swap it out. Left arm, sweep and look, and we come back. Remember, where the eyes go, the spine is gonna follow. So we wanna look where we're going, and then we'll come back, and last time, look where you're going, and come on back. Hold here, take the body all the way forward, and then just slowly roll yourself down. We finished out those roll-ups. Okay, nice. Set the weight down. Okay, let's bring a leg up and a leg up. Now, I'm gonna turn this turn right for rollovers. So what I wanna do with your rollover is help you get over. So we're gonna use the legs, that extension of the legs will help you get over. So arms are long. You're just gonna go 45 degrees, go up, extend your legs, bend them and roll down. So by bending and rolling down, then you're definitely going to have to work a little bit harder, okay? But with the extension, that should help you get the, the body over. So we go 45, maybe bend, bent legs 45, and then go up, extend those legs, flex your feet maybe, and roll down. We could flex and roll down like that, yeah, okay? Again, our legs go away from us, and then we extend them over, flex those feet, bend your legs, and roll it down. That roll down is going to be more challenging. Now one more time. We go away. We go up and over. Ah, nice. Bend those legs and we roll ourselves right down. Good. Nice. Bring a foot to the mat, a foot to the mat. Send your legs long. Hold here. Okay. Fix those pants if you need to. Okay. Arms are long by your side. Now let's do, um, next up is leg circles and really different. So take one leg up. Here we are. Okay. This is the top of our triangle. Okay. We're doing leg triangles today, not leg circles. Okay, so this leg is gonna go down across, come over, and go up on an angle. Down on an angle, cross over, up on an angle. Down on an angle, cross over, up. One more, down on an angle, cross over, and then you're up, okay? Now let's reverse it. We go down on an angle, straight across, and up. Down on an angle, straight across, and up, again, down, straight across, and we're up, and last time, down on an angle, straight across, feel that IT stretch right there, piriformis, and then you're up. Pull that knee into your chest, take it to your armpit, back to your chest, and then take it across, and just do whatever you need to do here, whether you keep your hip down or you let it lift. Bring the knee right back into you, send that leg long. Now that right leg right now might feel a little bit longer then your left leg. Check that out. Left, yeah, okay. So your left foot goes up. Oh my gosh. And again, um, just notice how different this side might feel. Okay, so hold here. And I have my palms up so that I open up my chest a little bit more. Okay, and I have less uh, tendency to push. Okay, hold here. And now my left foot, my left leg goes down on an angle, straight across, and we're up. Down on an angle straight across and up, Ooh. down on an angle, straight across and we're up and last time down on an angle, straight across and I'm up. Okay, hold there. Now let's go the other way. We go down on an angle, away, straight across, up on an angle, down on an angle, away, across, up in on an angle, down away on an angle, straight across and up last time straight across, and we're up. Perfect, pull that knee into your chest. Take it to the same, the left armpit. And then pull it right back in. Take her across, and again, the hip can lift or not. And then pull that knee right back into your chest. Send the leg long, and maybe they're the same length now. <laughs> okay, so my favorite transition for rolling like a ball. Let's lift the head, neck, and shoulders, here you are. And then we pop in. Okay, see how that worked? And then we lower the whole thing down. Try it again. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and we pop in. Okay, rounding that back. And then take the whole thing down. Here's your last time. Okay, last time. And your weight should be kind of off to the side here. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders, and then we'll pop in. Okay, so hold yourself here. I'd like you to grab your weight. I'll turn around again. Hold your weight right at your ankles, okay? And so we're adding weight to the feet, so we really gotta work on 
keeping, uh, keeping those feet off the floor. So we're going to inhale back and exhale it up. Again, inhale, exhale up, right? Sits bones up, knees up, right? Now let's try something else. So take the arms overhead, holding onto that weight, keeping the arms by your ears, and you will hang out back there. So be, be a little bit mindful as you move here. We inhale back, and exhale up, oh boy. See, don't touch, again. And exhale it up. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? Because I'm sure this doesn't look fantastic as I'd like. But anyway, hold there, lower those feet, lower those arms. Now let's use this weight to help us as we slowly, we lower, we lower. Hips are screaming, aren't they? We'll give them a break here. And then down we're gonna go. Set your weight off to the side for a second. Take your feet kind of wide. And then let's go ahead and drop your knees to the left. And you'll feel the stretch here. Take your right arm overhead. And then just be, just relax in it. Right? Once you stop gripping, sometimes things will release. Take it back up. And let's try the other side. Drop them to the right. And then the left arm goes up. Mm. Just take a moment. Let go. Let go. All right, and then bring yourself right back. Okay, so we're ready to move again. Hold your weight in your right hand. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Take a leg up, a leg up. Heels together, toes apart. We're doing double leg stretch with one weight. So everything goes away. We pass overhead, and then we pass under our legs. We pass overhead, and we pass under our legs. Pass overhead and under. How about your last one? Pass overhead and under. Hold there. Hold it in your left hand now, and give yourself a rest. Turning the head side to side. The challenge especially is when those that weight goes overhead because you want to lower the body, but we're not supposed to. So we lift up, holding the weight in the left hand. Everything goes away. Everything comes in. Again, we pass overhead. And I love the, the as the weight circles to the back. Oh, man, you can feel those obliques last time. Inhale. And then we exhale. Hold there. You can hold it in your right hand. Take a foot down. Take a foot down. And just rest. Uh, just a quick hip break here. Give me a bridge. Just tuck and peel. Oh. And then down you're going to go. Okay? Now, moving on. Take a leg to table and a leg to table. Take the weight. It's right. You're just holding it right at your chest. It's right at your chest. And now, single leg. Single leg. All I'm going for here is really being mindful of how these legs are moving. It's like your heel is on the same surface. Right? And both feet, whether they're point, whether they're bent, the leg is bent or straight, are aiming for the same target. Okay? It's not a bicycle motion here. Go four, go three, go two, and go one. Bend those legs, foot to the mat, foot to the mat, and we rest. And of course, we have that weight in our chest, so it challenges us a little bit more. Um, again, tuck your tail and give me a bridge. And then roll your bridge down. Okay. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Hold on to the weight. Get yourself up. All right. So here we are seated, and now we're going to be seated for the crisscross portion. So arms reach long. Take your body halfway back. Take your weight to the side of one leg. I'm not way over here. I'm just right there. So hold there. And now we go up and around to the other side. We go up and around to the other side. Oh, man, this is great because we're, we're transitioning up high overhead instead of just in front, okay? And go one more. Now let's hold it here on one side, hold. And now from here, we're gonna lower and we're gonna lift. Not too bad, right? Lower. Notice, if you're angled to the right, your right oblique is dominant here. So notice the ease that you move, okay? Come back, you're halfway up, come right over to the left or the other side, hold there. And let's see how this side is. See how easy it is for you, okay? And again, we're down. And we're up, twice more. And we're up, and last time. Dang, that's sweet. And then dive that body all the way forward. It's a toughie, okay. Um, holding your weight, roll your body down. And just since we're here, let's put it all together. Take a leg up, a leg up. Now, give me a crisscross. So your knee is coming in between your hands as you're holding the weight, and there's a slight angle, okay? And then we switch, and we switch, and we switch. And we switch, 
and we switch. Let's go four, go three, go two, and just one. Bend those legs, feet to the mat, and give it a rest. Put your weight down, send your legs long, and let's just, another way to stretch your hips is a simple pencil stretch. Arms are reaching. Oh, good, just enjoy that. Then take the arms to the ceiling, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and roll yourself all the way up. All right, just a good stretch right there. Now we're ready for spine stretch forward. Hold your weight, okay? We're only doing three of them. Arms are reaching. Um, lift your ribs, drop your chin, round over, and I just want you to pulse here. Pulse four, and three, and two, and one. Roll yourself up, the arms go high, and the arms press three, four, and three, and two, and one. Again, lift and round over. Hold it there, and we're pulsing like from the ribs. Go four, go three, go two, and one. Roll it all the way up, hold there, press it back. Four, and three, and two, and one. Here's your last one. Lift and round over, hold there, and we pulse. Go four, go three, go two, and one. Last time, up you roll, press it. Four, and three, and two, and one. Lower those arms, just set your weight off to the side, okay? So now, from here, um, bring your hips towards your heels, and let's get ready for open leg rocker, okay? So holding on, and we extend the leg, just kind of get ready for it. All right, we love open leg rocker. Maybe both legs get to go now. All right, good. And then let's hold your last one, grab ankles. Now remember, if the legs can't be straight here, feel free to bend them, okay? Still gonna be open leg rocker, it's just your hamstrings are inhibiting you a bit. So hold right here, do not let the arms change. Okay, so let's try it. Let's see what the first one's like, because you never know. We inhale back, and then we're gonna exhale it up, maybe. Oh, we made it. Okay, again, inhale, and exhale it up. One more like that. Okay, now let's go for a little bit more challenge. Hold one leg, and we inhale back, Exhale up. Whoa. Swap it out. Hold the other leg. Inhale. Exhale up. Hold it. Swap it out. Now this time we're going to swap out behind it. So hold here. We roll back. Swap. And we roll up. Much easier. We roll back. We swap. And we come up. We got one left. Roll back. Swap. And then we come up. Hold it. Let's hold both legs. Close those legs tight. Take your arms high. And now keep your legs here, float your body down, okay? Arms go long, just bend your legs. So your legs are still that line, uh, 45 degree angle. So bridge your feet, okay? Hold right here. Now, from here, tuck, just a regular bridge, tuck your toe and give me a bridge. Feels good, roll your bridge down. And again, tuck, tuck your toe on, bridge up. And then down we're gonna go, okay? Nice, now bring your legs real tight together. So this will inhibit your bridge a little bit. Tuck your toe and give me a bridge. See, I can't, you can't go as high because you're all tight. And then roll it down. One more, tuck and peel. Keep your head straight to the ceiling. And down you're gonna go. Now, more interesting, and we'll remember back from our hundreds. Give me heels together. Okay, you're on your toes, heels are lifted. Your knees are now angled about, uh, or they're open about as wide as your shoulders. Tuck your tailbone, give me a bridge, hold here. Now close your knees, open your knees. So we're butterflying that bridge. And we close and we open. We close and we open. We close those knees and we open last time. Close those knees and we open and then roll down. Those feel really good. You could do a bunch of those if you wanted. Separate those heels, drop your heels down. So again, you're in a normal stance. Tuck your tailbone, give me a nice little bridge. And then roll it down. Perfect. Let's leave your legs bent, reach those arms, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Inhale, exhale, up we go. And we dive that body all the way forward. All right, so let's be seated here. And we'll do a little bit of stomach massage right here, okay? so. I'd like you to um, bring your heels together and your back is going to be rounded here, okay? And all you're going to do here, your arms are just kind of 
an extension of your back. Your legs go out and your legs come in. Your legs go out and your legs come in. Again, out and they come in. Last time, go out and come in. So your back has been rounded. Now your arms go up and they go behind you. Now, so you want your thoracic spine, your upper back in extension, but you still want to tuck under a little bit at your tailbone. And that's really weird, isn't it? Something I, I studied the other day, I was like, oh, okay. But so the back is straight, the tailbone's tucked, and we go out, and we draw in. So this is called stomach massage. The idea is that your stomach is doing a lot of the work here. And go one more, and then come back in. Now reach an arm, reach an arm. So now you no longer have the support behind you. You're using your back, you're using your abdominals, okay? Now let's add a rotation. We go out, and then we'll come right back in. So pay attention to the length of your spine here, and then come back in. And again, we go out, length, come back in, and last time, go out, and then come back in. Now here's a treat. Grab your ankles, send your legs long, pull your ribs back, and give yourself a stretch right here. I should feel pretty good right there. Good. And then up here, gonna go. Okay, let's cross our ankles. I'm trying to read where we're going to, and come on over. Yeah, this is good. All right, so let's uh, sit back in our shell stretch. Your weight can go towards the front, you know, by your hands, top of the mat there, because we'll be using it eventually. So we round up, Halloween cat, Halloween out, scoopy, curl your toes under, and give me a plank. Now, I'm gonna go right to my fist because my wrist is still not 100%. So that flexion, especially in a cushioned mat, no bueno. The kids say still. Okay, so hold there. Now, from here, come down to a form, come down to a form, flat hands, and lower your pelvis. And here we are. And then we just do a little bit of adjusting. Now, your hands are gonna stay right on your mat, try to let go of that booty. And now, lengthen, straighten your right arm and look over your right shoulder. That's a nice rotation up at the higher end of the spine. And then we come back. Lengthen the left arm and look over the left shoulder. And appreciate the difference on either side. And then we come back. You know, the whole time we're kind of taking inventory here. What feels right, what doesn't feel right. And then we come back and one more time. Extend that arm. I even feel like my abs. Nice. And then come back. Cross your hands. Forehead on your hands. Take your legs about as wide as your mat. Okay? Now, um, I kind of got you ready for this a little bit already um, in the warm-up. But let's just um, lift a leg. Lift a leg. You're lifting. Then lift both legs. Lift both. Good. And lift both. And we lift. Watch the shoulders. Think about your abdominals. Good. Okay, now let's go to a sequence. So, you're going to lift both legs, you're going to bend them so the toes touch, then extend those legs longer and they go higher, and then the whole thing lowers wide. Okay? So you begin wide and you end wide. We lift, we bend, extend to the corners of your mat, and then you lower. We lift, we bend, extend to the corners of the mat, and then you lower. Again, lift and bend to the corners, and then you lower last time. Lift and bend. Extend to the corners, and then you're going to lower. Okay, slide those legs right back in line with you. Hands under your shoulders or fists. Curl, um, spend your legs. <laughs> Take a deep breath and push up. One piece up into that plank. Hold here. And then just slowly sit back into your shell stretch. Oof. Yep, just sit back. Maybe take your hands over to the right. Dropping that head, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back to center, take your hands over to the left, and you'll feel stretching that right side there. Oh la la. And then bring it right back to center. Round up, holy cat, and let's fall into your hips. That just feels good right there. Perfect. Nice. And then bring yourself back. Okay, so let's come onto our side and just lie down. We don't want time here. We're at 29 minutes. Okay, so down we go. I'll finish this up shortly. So what I'd like you to do is um, take, let's see, take your top leg over your bottom leg. You're just right here. And you're in a nice long line, okay? 
lift the bottom leg and lower. Now, if this isn't doable for you, you can be like that. Okay, so here we are. And we look straight away. We lift the leg and we lower. We lift and we lower. We lift and we lower last time. Lift and then lower. Now take your top leg right on top. And now we lift the shape, whoa, and we lower. Again, lift the shape. Feel free to put a hand here if you need that. Again, lift, maybe for the first couple you do. Lift and we lower. Lift and we lower last time. Lift and lower. Now let's add a sequence. Lift, extend, bend, and lower. Lift, extend, bend, and lower. Lift, extend it, bend it. Last time, lift, extend, hold. Lower that leg long, 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 long. Those heels touch, but then cross, cross, cross. Change ones right here. Cross, 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 cross. That's it, that feel good. Go four, go three, go two, go one. Lower those legs. Bend those babies in. Push yourself up. That's awesome. Um, let's stack up our knees this time and just come over. Oh, that feels good. And traditional mermaid here. Just come over, side bending the other way. Oh, mama. And then you're going to come up. Okay, swing these legs to the other side. Let's get this other side. Down you go. Okay. So again, we line ourselves up so nicely straight, and then the top leg comes in front. Again, this could be like that if you need it, okay? So hold there, bottom leg is gonna lift and lower. Remember your bottom side body, that's it. Dropping that shoulder down, lift and lower. And breathing, it's a wonderful thing, a nice deep inhale and a good exhale. It's never overrated. All right, then we'll stop that. Take your top foot on top. Even just that feels good right there. And now lift and lower. Watch that foot, don't let it sickle. And we lift and lower. You can bend your bottom arm too. Again, lift and lower, lift and lower. Last time like that. Now let's go to sequence. Lift, extend, bend and lower. Lift the shape, extend it, bend it and lower it. Lift, extend. Bend and lower last time. Lift, extend, weight. Lower that leg so long. See, I had to catch my balance there. Heels touch and now cross, 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 cross. Shanjwa, shanjwa, shanjwa. That's it. That's it. Feel that bottom inner thigh. Go, 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 four, go, three, go, two, go, one. And then relax. Nice. Bend your legs in. Push yourself right up. And we'll go for traditional mermaid. Knees are stacked. Arm goes up and we go over. Ah. Come on, huh? And go the other way. Ah. Nice. And then up we're going to go. Now let's go to all fours. Okay. Let's go to all fours here. Fix that top. And grab your weight. Okay. So traditional bird dog. Grab your weight. Let's start with the weight in the right hand. Your knees are right under your hips. So I see this a lot in class. Uh -uh. They gotta be right under your hips, okay? Hold that weight in your right hand. I'm gonna use my fist here just because of my wrist situation. Right arm reaches, left leg reaches. So here we are. And now we're gonna lower and lift. Lower and we lift. Nice back extension work. And lift and last time lower lift, hold it. Take that arm to the side. And now, just a bicep curl right here. The palm is facing uh, right into that body. There you go. I think one more. Hold there. Now take that arm to the back. Both arm and leg are going to bend. Heel to butt, hand to shoulder. Heel to butt, hand to shoulder. Heel to butt, hand to shoulder. Last time. Okay, now take this arm all the way around. Our back has been an extension, and now it gets to flex. Elbow to knee, and then reach it. Elbow to knee, and then reach it. Elbow to knee, and then we reach. So feel that curl, and then we reach. Lower that arm, lower that knee, and just sit back. Oh, and maybe that left wrist needs some attention. <sighs> Rounding your back, and then let's just come right back up to all fours. So check your position, right. Um, oh, so notice this, this is no good. We want softness here, and it's right under my shoulder, okay? 
So when we get tired, we resort to that. That's not any good though, that's hyperextension. There's no place to move from that. You can't, there's no, there's no movement there. Okay, so there we go. Hold right here, I'm gonna try to be mindful. And now they lower and they lift. They lower and they lift. They lower and they lift. And last time, lower lift, hold it. Take that left arm to the side. Just the arm moves. Bicep curl right here. And there's one more. Take that arm to the back. Now hand, sorry, elbow and knee. Bend, it's actually arm and leg bend, right? They bend at the knee, they bend at the elbow. That's it, nice. Okay, I think we're gonna do one more. Seems to work. Take that left arm around. Now guys, remember we were in extension, let's go to flexion. Round your back, scoop it in, send it long. Round your back, scoop it in, send it long. Round, scoop in. Send it long, last time. Round, scoop in, send it long. Hold it, lower that arm, lower that knee, and let's sit right back. Ah, pushing that floor away from you, rounding your back, scooping. Take your arms over to the right, dropping that head. Come back and take your arms over to the left. Good, very, very nice. And then we'll come back to center. Come back and let's see. Let's go ahead and sit right down, okay? And let's just sit with your legs long, okay? So you're seated up nice and tall, arms are reaching, okay? I want you to bend your arms, take them behind you. Think about opening up that chest, hold here. Nice. And you're gonna turn your head right. You're gonna turn your head left. Come back to center, bend your arms and reach. Now, of course, I'm modifying this from standing, but you guys could be standing if you wanted. Okay, bend your arms, take them behind you, open up that chest, pull the ribs back. We look left, we come center, and then we look right. Come back to center, bend your arms, and reach. Take these arms high, give me a lift, and just round over. Uh, flexion, yes? Take it all the way up, open these arms, you're in extension, give me a rotation. And then we're gonna come back, give me a rotation, we're gonna come back, now drop one arm, give me a lateral flexion, and then we come up, lateral flexion the other way, and then we take both arms up, last time just round it over, roll yourself up, draw your elbows back, and lift your sternum. And then we take it back to normal one more time, just lift that sternum, ah, and then we take it to normal, and lower those arms, you're done. So that was fantastic. We moved the body in all sorts of directions. I changed where we originally the exercise from, where the, we were on our backs, on our bellies, on our, on our butts, on sides. So we were all over. I tried, I tried to create a really balanced session that didn't have too much flexion or too much extension. In fact, I tried to go for more extension in this one because I think we were flexed, hunched over a lot of times in our lives, just in everyday life, right? So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you feel better than when you started. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you.